Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to downgrade your 3DS from 11.0, 11.1, and 11.2 by using a new exploit called Fast Hacks. Initially, you need a hacks entry point, so I recommend watching this video on how to install Sound Hacks. This doesn't cost any money and it works on 11.x, so it's just right for this tutorial. So, to start off, you're going to download this folder, which I'll have linked in the description. You're going to right click on it and click Extract All, and then wait for this to complete. So then you're going to go back inside the folder, and then back inside of this one, and you're going to see three files. So copy all of these, and then go to your 3DS's SD card. If you have a new 3DS, then you can take this out of the back of your console, under the plate, and if you have an old 3DS, then this would be on the side of it. And then put it into your computer, and you should see some files. So you're going to paste them onto it, just like this. If you see anything that says to merge folders, copy and replace files, then you can do that. So now it's done. So now we're going to eject our SD card and put it back into our console. So now once your SD card is back in your console, you're going to launch Sound Hacks. If you don't have this installed, I'll have another link to the video on screen if you didn't catch the one at the beginning of this video. So you should be inside of the homebrew launcher by now. So you need to scroll down until you find safe hacks. So then once you're on top of safe hacks, then you can press the A button to run it. And then this will launch the exploit. So you should be in decrypt 9 at this point. And then once you're in decrypt 9, then you can press the select button on your 3DS. And this will unmount the SD card so you can put it into your computer now. So you should do that. So now that you've safely unmounted your SD card from your 3DS, you can insert it into your PC and it'll look like this. So now you need to download one of these CTR transfer files. So I have, the one, I have all of them for different regions. So here's a European one because it has an E. Here's a Japanese one because it has a J. And a USA one because it has a U. So you're going to choose the one. You only need to download one of them. So since I'm USA, I'm going to download this one. And we're going to extract it like this, and we'll wait for this to complete. And then once it's complete, you can close out of this, and then go back into it. And you're going to copy both of these files. So now you can go to your SD card, and if you don't already have a folder named Files9, then you're going to create one. And then you're going to go inside of that. And you're going to paste the files right in here. So this might take a little while to copy, so you can just wait for this to complete. So then once it's done, you can eject your SD card from your computer, and then put it back into your console. So then you're going to press the B button to go back into the menu, and then you're going to go to Ticket slash Title Key Options, and then you're going to go to Ticket Dump System NAND. So then this will dump this tickets from your system, so this is useful so that you don't like lose any data in the downgrade process. Yeah, you can just wait for this to complete. And then once it's done, then you can go back again, and then press the select button to unmount your SD card. And then you're going to put this back into your computer once more. So then once you put your SD card into your computer, you're going to go back to the Files 9 folder, and you're going to see a bunch of tickets. So you're going to delete all the ones that don't start with 00. zero. So I'm just going to select all of mine, because I have mine sorted alphabetically. So all of the ones that don't start with zeros are, like, down below it. So, I'm just scrolling down, and it looks like this is all of them. So I'm just going to delete these. And now we only have these three ticket files left, and we still have the CTR transfer files, so... That's important for the next step, so make sure you have that if you didn't already copy it. You might not see all these files, but I'm using this SD card for another 3DS as well, so the files are going to be different than what you see. So now you can eject this and put it back into your console. So now you're going to press the B button to go back, and then you're going to go to System NAND Options, and then you're going to go to CTR NAND Transfer, and then Auto CTR NAND Transfer. So press this button combination. This is just to ensure that you actually want to do this. 
So now press A over the 2.1.0 CTR transfer file. Then press A over the nandmin.bin file that it asks for the NAND backup location. So then it should complete eventually. You can just wait for it to get done. So then you can press the B button to go back and you can go all the way back to the beginning of the menu. And then you can press the select button to unmount the SD card and then you can insert this into your computer once again. So now once your SD card is back in your PC, you can go back to the Files 9 folder and delete the 2.1.0 CTR transfer file. I already did that, so now we've got to delete the home menu data for your console. So on screen I've got a list of the folders that you need to delete for your specific region. So since I'm USA, I'm going to go inside of this folder, the Nintendo 3DS folder. And then inside of my folder for my 32 digit ID, you usually would only have one folder, but since I have an emunand installed on this SD card, it, I would have two, but I know which one it is. So I'm going to go inside of this, and then back inside of this one again, and then xdata, and then this one, and then 8f. So I'm going to delete this, and now I'm done with my SD card. So I can eject this and then put it back in my console. So now you can press the start button to reboot your console, and then this will load you back into the home menu. If your console doesn't boot the first time, then you can try ejecting your SD card from your console, then booting without that inserted, and then once you get to the home menu, insert it back in. So if you go to system settings, it should say 2.1 in the corner. So this means that you've successfully downgraded to 2.1, and you can continue on with the ARM9 loader hacks installation as shown in the guide in the description. ARM9 loader hacks is a long process, it takes a little while, so I'm not going to be showing you an entire video on how to do that. This video is just to show you how to downgrade to 2.1. So the guide is pretty easy to follow, so just go to the link in the description and you can continue on with the ARM9 loader hacks installation. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment for more videos, tutorials, and other stuff like this, and I'll see you next time.